गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ मिली सांकला एंड टूडे अवर सब्जेक्ट डिजाइन ऑफ क्रिस्टस कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर विथ ऑल द एग्जाम्पल रिलेटेड टू फ्लैग डिजाइन नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज रीड दैटा गिवन पोस्ट टेंशन टी सेक्शन गर्डर हैविंग टॉप फ्लैंच ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एम एम विथ एंड टू फिफ्टी एम एम डेप एंड टू फिफ्टी एम एम विथ एंड वन थाउजेंड एम एम डेप एट वेब द गर्डर इज प्रिस्ट्रेस्ड बाय फोर्टीन नंबर ऑफ सेवन एट एम एम स्ट्रेंड इन वेब एट एटी एम एम फ्रॉम बॉटम ओके ह्यूर फ्रॉम बॉटम वी प्रोवाइड अ फोर्टीन एम एम फोर्टीन नंबर ऑफ बार्स ऑफ एट एम एम डायमीटर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट इज फोर्टी फाइव मेगा पास्क एंड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ स्टील इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रिस्पेक्टिवली कैलकुलेट द मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस एम यू फॉर द सेक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर स्ट्रेन कंपेटेबिलिटी मैथड नाउ एफ सी के इज फोर्टी फाइव देन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ स्टील इज गिवन एफ पी यू दैट इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर APS that means area of processing steel is 14 number 7 ply 8 mm 5 okay that means 14 into 7 pi by 4 d square 4926 mm square then find out as area of steel being large the neutral axis is likely to fall in web APS is equal to summation of APW plus APF Now APF is equal to 0.45 FCK B minus BW DF by FPU. This one is the according to when our reinforcement is lying in web portion or in flange portion. Okay, here the reinforcement is lying in web portion, so we use this equation. Now 0.45. एफ सी के फोर्टी फाइव ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड माइनस टू फाइव जीरो जीरो इंटू टू फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एफ पी यू थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सिक्स एम एम ओके हियर वी फाइंड एरिया एफ ए पी एफ इज इक्वल टू दिस थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सिक्स एम एम स्क्वायर ओके यूनिट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड हियर एम एम स्क्वायर नाउ नेक्स्ट वी फाइंड नेक्स्ट वी फाइंड APW this APW is equal to APS minus APF 4926 minus this 3206 and here we get 1720 mm square okay now we take the ratio of this APW divide by okay here we take the ratio of APW into FPU divide by FCK BW that means with the fab into that 1720 FPU is equal to 1500 FCK strength of concrete BW with the fab 250 and D is equal to 1170 we get 0.196 now from this table FPB divided by 0.87 FPU is equal to 0.95 for post tension tendon we get fpb is equal to 0.95 0.87 into our fpu 1500 and we get 1239.75 newton per mm square okay the unit is given here stress that is newton per mm square okay now the ratio of xu divided by d is equal to 0.410 and xu is equal to 0.414 into 1170 and we get xu is equal to 484.38 mm and this one is the great greater than of our depth that is 1170 so here the neutral axis is lying in a web mu is equal to fpb into apw d minus 0.42 xu plus 0.45 fck b minus bw into df d minus 0.5 df put the all values and after that we get our ultimate flexor strength our ultimate moment is 7790.53 kN into meter okay this one is the example with related to strain compatibility method now we discuss the flexor design steps now one by one estimation of self weight of beam here we use the equation and this equation is depend upon binet 
theory okay and this theory is the simple formula for estimating the self weight of girdle by considering several influencing parameters here we use this bennett theory now the relation between self weight that means minimum load and the ultimate load is given by the expression w minimum divided by w ud that is k dc g beta l by h into l divided by fcu d by h square this one is the ratio of self weight or minimum load to ultimate design load w ud is nothing but that is our ultimate design load and this one is the ultimate self weight now l is equal to effective span of b dc is equal to density of concrete member g is equal to acceleration due to gravity beta is equal to moment coefficient 0.125 for simply supported beam and h is equal to our overall depth of beam d is equal to effective depth of beam and k is equal to our numerical constant okay now the value of k 6 to 7.5 for rectangle and i section girder of short span and 4 to 5 for t or i section girder of long span this one is short span and this one is long span now maximum value of l by h ratio l by h ratio 25 for simply supported beam 35 for fixed beam and 15 for cantilever beam here we discuss the design step for flexor design and this equation we use when we solve the example of post tension beam and pre tension beam now the ratio of this d by h is uh, between 0.85 to 0.95 ultimate design load include the live load by partial safety factor vg and the self fit enhanced by f2 eta f2 the following relation w that means ultimate design load is equal to f1 q then gamma f2 w minimum okay this one is the gamma f1 q then second is gamma f2 w minimum ultimate design load is equal to gamma f1 q then 1 minus gamma f2 the ratio of minimum self weight load to ultimate design load gamma f1 is equal to partial safety factor for live load and gamma f2 is equal to partial safety factor for self weight now the dimension of flexor member for pistis concrete flexor member the effective depth and width of section at the compression phase are determined basis of ultimate flexor strength and the requirement as per british code the parameter nu divided by fck bd square varies between 0.075 to 0.107 while as per our is code stress block values varies from 0.09 to 0.30 so mu fck or fcu bd square is equal to 0.1 or mu is equal to 0.1 fck bd square fcu is equal to concrete cube strength in case of unsymmetrical i girder hf by d is equal to 0.15 to 0.25 then ratio of this bw by b 0.2 to 0.3 are considered for economical design where hf is equal to thickness of flange bw thickness of web b width of flange d is equal to effective depth of girder the approximate thickness of web is estimated for small span girder with straight tendons bw is equal to 0.85 vu ft into h this one is for small span girder now for long span girder the width of web is equal to 0.60 vu divided by ft into h for small span pistis member thinner web of about 50 to 60 mm may be used 
and for long span the heavily loaded girder minimum thickness we take 120 to 150 mm okay now we calculate the section modulus minimum section modulus z pristis concrete flexor member should satisfy the limit specified for permissible stress at transfer stage and also at service stage two critical combination of processing force and the moment are considered first one is initial load stage that is for our section modulus at transfer condition processing force is maximum and applied moment is minimum at condition of transfer processing force is maximum and our inducing moment is minimum okay now at service condition Minimum processing force after all losses and maximum design moment for this serviceability of limit state. Now, this one is the rectangle cross section of beam. Here, initial process condition in initial process condition is subjected to self fit and also the stress due to processing force. Second one is the process after losses, eta is the losses, then dead load stresses diagram this one is the live load stresses diagram okay now at transfer condition top fiber this one is f sup then mg is the moment due to dead load divided by section modulus at top fiber greater or equal to ftt and bottom fiber v equation is m inf minus this one is fb also mg by ZB section modulus of bottom fiber this value is less than equal to FCT this is the equation number 1 and 2 for transfer condition now at service service condition at top fiber we find out eta F SUP plus MG divided by ZT due to dead load then MQ divided by ZT due to live load and this values are less than equal to FCW this equation is the third number and this is for service condition. At bottom fiber the equation is eta INF F INF minus MG by ZB minus FQ by ZB because it is subjected to tensile forces. Greater or equal to FTW. From equation number 1 and 3 we have conclude that MQ plus 1 minus eta into mg divided by zt is less than equal to fcw minus eta ftt less than equal to ftr from equation number 2 and 4 we conclude mq plus 1 minus eta into mg divided by zb less than equal to eta fct minus ftw less than equal to fbr okay now what is FTR? FTR is the range of stress at top. Then FBR is the range of stresses at bottom. The design formula for the required section expressed by the section modulus ZT greater or equal to MQ plus 1 minus eta into MG FTR that is the range of stress at top. Then ZB greater or equal to MQ plus 1 minus eta MG divided by FBR. Here the loss ratio eta, eta is the loss ratio. It is 0 0.75 to 0.80 for pretension element and 0 0.85 to 0.80 for post tension member. This range will be given according to type of post tension and pretension. Now what is pre stress force? Generally, the section selected is somewhat greater than minimum indicated by equation number 5. Here, we provide a section and the section we take, generally it will be minimum according to this section modulus. Pristis can lies between the upper and lower limit. Any value of pristis within this limit may be safely used without exiting the permissible stress at extreme fiber. Okay, now next here the minimum processing force required will be obtained by selecting the maximum tensile stresses 
by equation number 1 and equation number 4. Now, equation number 1 and 4, F, SCP, get order equal to F, T, T, then M, T, divide by Z, T, this is for moment due to dead load, and F, SCP, that means top stresses, and F, I, N, F, means bottom stresses, and this bottom stress is get order equal to F, T, W, divide by eta, plus M, Q, plus M, G, divide by eta, Z, B. This one is the equation to analysis and design for flyzer. In this equation, ZT and ZB are the actual value of section selected. Okay, first we as a, and then after finding, finding the dimension, here we use the actual value of ZT and ZB. Please take care. After finding the actual value, we have to, uh, when we find out top stresses and bottom stresses, here we take the actual value of ZT and ZB. Okay, now, F SUP is equal to P by A minus P E by Z T. Top stress is F INF that means bottom stress is P A by P by A plus P E by Z B. Now next we find out the equation for minimum pre-stressing force P is equal to area then F INF Z B plus F SUP that means F T Z T. ZT plus ZB. This value is divided by section modulus of top fiber and bottom fiber. Then we find out eccentricity E also. Eccentricity E is equal to ZT into ZB. Then difference between here the bottom stresses minus top stresses divided by area F T ZT plus F B ZB. Okay. Here we stop the session in next we solve the example related to this theory just now we stop